Hello, I am Linda Peace, a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the peace of the Lord be upon you all. And I want to thank you for coming back again for another video. Thank you all who have been praying for me. And I pray for the blessings of the Lord upon your lives, upon your families. Thank you for um, giving me uh, help in the spirit. Because uh, surely the enemy, uh, Satan, doesn't want um, me to release the mysteries that the Lord has revealed to me um, concerning uh, things of the spirit, concerning the church and all of those. So I have been battling way too much. It's been a very heavy battle for me in the past few uh, months. Uh, but I thank you that when I asked for extra help from you all, you stood out for me and I am restored. Okay. So, um, what happened to me, you might be wondering what happened to me. Just suddenly, I was not able to do anything. I became way too very heavy. Um, I felt heaviness on my body, you know. So, the Lord has also opened my spiritual eyes whereby I am able to sense uh, the spirit of darkness and the spirit of light. Where the, when we talk about the spirit of light, that's the angels and, and, and the demons and all of that. So, the Lord has open my spiritual eyes where I'm able to sense here is the enemy so when I am also battling in the spiritual I am able to see of how I am battling battling this and of how I'm fighting um, my opponents okay so as of that and as I saw in the spirit there was so much um, heaviness on me where there was lots of demons that were sent and they the the press me down so I couldn't do anything at all. I could not pray. I could not do anything or I was very I felt like um, There's just darkness just darkness around there is a light there But there's truly just that heaviness because then I at, at the moment then I was praying put myself in different uh, positions praying for different people countries and nations and this and this so you attack principalities now as you attack those principalities they also come and attack you you see that okay so in this video I'm gonna share with you what the Lord revealed to me is I was worshiping him in the day of today okay as I was praying and worshiping the Lord he showed me in the spirit I saw um, uh, um, a lot of people that were in, in a huge it, it's a place like it's a building okay it's a building and there's a lots of people there it's like a it felt like a figure of the world of the world okay of the earth now listen attentively for those who are still toying with sin for those who think that it is okay for you to have work to have a job taking all, all most of your time and having less time for God for you who say no it's fine as long as you read the Bible as long as you have acknowledged the Lord Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior it is okay you're already righteous for you who say it's okay for me to go to clubs for you who say it is okay for me to be a Christian and at the same time to be wearing those worldly dresses uh, worldly dresses and, and pants and all of that for you who say it is okay, God checks the heart, okay? For you who say it is okay, God checks the heart. I can have my makeup on. That is for the beauty of a woman. That is what differentiates a woman from a man. For you who say these things, you say, no, it's a wedding. No, it's a party. I have to dress nicely. I have to show my body. For you who say it is okay, it's okay for a Christian. To be doing this and to be doing that but you already know you still know that it is a sin in the eyes of God now this video is yours okay now as I worshiped the Lord and prayed before um, the, the, the throne of the Lord I saw a figure as, 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 as a, a big building which was like uh, the world so the figure would it seemed like as if it's the world but it's a big building and I saw lots and lots of people inside there okay lots of people inside there and I saw these people were walking you know walking busy bodies you know busy bodies you know a busy person who walks up and down like the mad people okay who pe people who are lunatic okay who walk up and down up and down non-stop 
okay walk up go in to the north to the west to, to the south to the uh, east to the west you know up and down up and down like this like this like this you know and there is sort of darkness okay and then there was a door there like an open door there and then outside that door i saw a figure of a man that is described as as, as satan okay i saw with those uh, uh, horns just the way you know uh, uh, the world describes describes Satan, okay, and I saw he was holding a, a, a sword, okay, and as he was standing there, it's like this is his, um, you know, like a company, you know, like you own that company, you own those buildings, you own that, you know, you own this, okay, like this is the big boss, okay, he's standing outside this building and the people are busy walking up and there is darkness inside darkness inside and they have it's like a must it's like slaves can i say like slaves you know like you are employed you employed. you have no option you can't get out you can't do what okay you are employed employed okay just the way the, the people work but here there is no rest okay my eyes were just closed like this as i was praying about my own personal my own personal um uh, life and the Lord revealed this to me, okay? And then the, the Satan was standing outside, just next to the door. There were men that came and presented themselves, Jesus. There were men, I feel the power of the Lord up, Jesus. There were men that came and stood, thank you, Jesus. There were men that came and stood, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Ugh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, have mercy on your people. Help your people and open their eyes. Open their eyes to see this truth, oh God. Open their eyes, oh Lord. Rokosi karama kashi ere mo sen dere mo sana ba seke dere mo 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 mo. Father, I pray that you open the eyes of someone, open the eyes of your people to see, to see that you are full of love and you're calling them out of the world, out of darkness, out of the hands of Satan, out of the hands of the enemy, Father. Have mercy on the world. Have mercy, Jesus. Have mercy. Have mercy and cause the hearts of people and cause them, oh God. What I saw, oh Jesus, Ria Kosin Kriya, the Rebon Ria, the Hetriya Kaseki Triya no Mosin Kriyana, the Riaha. I feel the power of God and I cause the Bohia Ken, the Motile Khan, the Mosi Khan, the Mosel Yenemo. Come out of darkness. Come out of darkness. Come out of darkness. Come out of darkness. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I saw there were men. The men are employed. These men are employed. They work for Satan. These men are employed. They work for Satan. They go out. Okay. I saw these men who came to present their work before Satan, before the boss. This was the boss. This was the boss that was standing there. These men are the ones who go out into the world to collect, to collect souls, to lie to the people, you see, to, 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 to uh, put in, okay, it's like go and harvest, go and harvest, you see, go and collect, collect. Okay, now they come to present themselves. How many have you brought? Okay, how many have you collected? How many have you deceived? I saw the people that were inside there, the people that were inside, there were people that had companies, who had businesses, okay? Day and night go about working. Day and night go about working. They were deceived by their work. 
okay and in this way as a person is living on this world working working doing your work and left and right in this in the spirit you are walking blindly like this in darkness okay you walk and i'm not saying that you have to stay away from your work but what does it what what is what does the word what does the lord want you to do is that spare some time some time for god let it be time for your work and let it be time for god at the same time you see that and then i saw on the other side the ones that had makeup on and all of those the ones who had tight pants on the ones who had wigs on i saw in these figures okay they were all caught up in that whole building that is full of uh, uh, covered with darkness and if this man these men who came and presented themselves before this big boss when they came and presented themselves here without collecting a soul satan became angry i saw this man who who, who uh, called himself as a big boss he was angry he got angry and then what he did is, is he looked, once he looked into, because there was an open door like this, okay, an open door where he can see. So when he looked into it, he kept, it's like, his, you know, work, you know, why are you standing? Work, you know, like a force that just kept on making them walk in, 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 in sin, okay, walk in sin, walk in, in, in darkness. They never stopped. They never stopped. He just looked like this, work, work. You see, work, it's like slaves, it's like slaves. You see, there's some with the anger, some with the envy, those in adultery, those in fornication. I saw this figure inside there. And there were these ones that were working for this big boss. And if they failed to collect, to collect a, a, a people to bring into this, this uh, place, if when they failed, this man who has exalted himself as a big boss gets angry and mad at them. The Lord calls out to you, whoever, wherever you may be, whoever you may be, you might be a boss, you might be what, and you're listening to me. Mind me, I'm only 21 years old. Before the Lord restored me, I was doing modeling. I was a model. I was a fashionist, fashionist girl. I was working hospitalities. I was a hostess, a girl that stands in front of in front of restaurants to attract customers, to bring customers into the restaurants. That was me because if I applied my makeup, I was like an angel. But when the Lord restored, when the Lord called me out out of darkness out of that big house that is full of darkness he said to me throw makeup away throw those pants away i also used to say no it's fine god checks the heart i used to say that my mother is an intercessor in the church and i grew up in a religious family in a christianity family where it's a must for you to go to, 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 to go to church every Sunday. But whenever my mom could speak to me about things of God, if she can listen, if, if she can be here, she can testify. She can testify. Mom, if you can if you if you get hold of this this video at any time, you can testify to the audience. Every time my mom could talk to me about things of God, I get so much angry, angry at her angry and walk away from the house wake walk away from the home i got so much angry but when the lord jesus christ restored me i i, I stopped saying god checks the heart now i say god is holy i say god is holy i say god is three times holy don't play with god do not let your job to take the position of God in your life. He created you and he loves you. This is your father. This is your father and he wants you to have 
eternity with him just think of it you being in hell because the ones that satan is collecting in that building are the ones that are going to go in the place of torment with him are the ones that are going to suffer in hell with him in the burning sulfur do you want to be there for the rest of your life just because of makeup do you want to be there for the rest of your life for eternity you do not even know when eternity ends do you want to be there just because you want to look beautiful for that man you want to look beautiful and handsome for that woman do you want to be there because of that woman because of that man because of your family because of that job do you want to be there because of the pants why do you expose your body your body is a temple of the lord jesus christ don't do that to yourself when you do these things you are not doing a favor to god when you pray when you fast when you seek the face of god you're not doing the favor to god you're doing a favor to yourself. For what? For what? For who can give some anything to God? If we do these things, keeping the laws and commands of God, walking in righteousness, walking with the Father, He has given us the Son, the Son which is the light, the Lord Jesus Christ, the light, an easy way for you to enter the kingdom of God. It's very easy very very easy very easy you have to set aside those riches you will have to set aside those jewelries you have to set aside set them aside anything that's causing you to stumble because as you are wearing those pants you say God checks the heart but do you know what is happening in the spirit you are a busy body you are a busybody. You are a slave to Satan. You say no to everyone. The Bible says that if, if, an, if a, uh, the Son of God sets you free, you are free indeed. But I tell you, he said, come the way. Come to me the way you are. That's what the scripture says. But when you come to the Lord Jesus Christ, what he means is that he will strip you off. Strip you off the arrogancy that has been in you. That old personality and give you a new a new personality you cannot come dressing like a prostitute to Jesus Christ and expect to remain the same when you open your heart only if you open your heart and you see many people are going to church every Sundays, Fridays, Mondays, and all of that. But look at them until now. You ask them how many, how, how, how many years you've been in Christianity. They say to you, 20 years, 30 years, 15 years. But you're still wearing pants. You still do not know the holiness of God. You don't know what pleases God. You still don't know. You're still in darkness. You're still very far. You still say God checks the heart. I used to say that many times. Many times. Several times. The Lord gave me the gift of prophecy when I was below the age of 10 years old. And the gift of speaking in tongues below that age. But I kept on saying God checks the heart. But when he came to me, when I was 17, 18, he restored me to this very age, 21 years old, in ministry. He said to me, Linda, I am holy. I am holy. And that's what I want to say to you today. Whether you choose to live a life according to the standards of this world, and saying God checks the heart, you are not doing a favor to me or to God. You are not destroying anyone's life, but your life, you're deceiving yourself. You know, what looks 
beautiful in the eyes of a man is ugly in the eyes of God. That's what God has taught me. And I want you to know today, as you adorn yourself in the beauty of this world and slandering and anger and hatred, You are a busy body in the spirit. You are a slave. You are a slave. A slave to Satan. You are a slave. When you see yourself, you can't pray. You can't fast. You clubbing. You say, I'm a Christian. It's okay with God. You parting. You say, it's okay with God. Because you are tolerating wickedness. What is wrong in the eyes of God? They are drinking. They are, they are getting themselves drunk. Smoking. Lasting with one another. You, you are tolerating this. What have you been called to do? You are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. You do not have to promote this. But you have to abolish it. You have to tell the people, no, it's wrong. Come out of darkness. Come out of that hatred. Come out of that jealousy. Come out of that pride. Take that makeup and throw it away. It will lead you to hell. Take those pains and throw them away. They will take you to hell without you even saying anything. Take those wigs and throw them away. You say you don't know nothing about wigs. I used to wear wigs. Weaves, that was my lifestyle. Because I wanted to be like a white girl. Because on top of that, if I can top up, uh, top up my accent, change my accent, and you will totally think this is a white girl. She's a black American. I wanted to be that girl. To be that girl. Well, many people will be influenced because of me. That was me. That was me, but the Lord restored me. May the peace of the Lord be upon you all. And I'll see you again.